going on everybody welcome to the 2020 honda crv hybrid touring so this is the first time the crv is in the hybrid form i kind of just going to go over some quick changes and a little things about the crv that's new for 2020 so i know a lot of people have been interested to see one of these this is like the second one we have here at my dealership it is available so if anyone want to purchase it just leave a comment message me the exterior is really same like the gasoline um crv you are going to notice though the gasoline version for 2020 do have new led fog lights and they all they are a circle just to give you a comparison this is on a, a gasoline version of the led fog lights you see how it's a long bar in the hybrid and on the gasoline is just a circle so that's one way you can tell from the hybrid to the gasoline model also the gasoline model will have a normal h while the hybrid model has a blue around the h that you know it's a hybrid now leds are standard on the crv and i don't know if it's standard from lx and above i believe because we see the exl and it had the full led that used to be only standard on the touring so honda made a few changes for the hybrid specifically which is pretty cool also it's 2020 the crvs got rid of that full chrome grill and you have just that little chrome strip going around the top and the rest is kind of colored in black now so it gave it a little bit more less chromey feel a lot of people hate how much chrome is on the newer honda to the side of course you have a hybrid badge that you know it's a hybrid side profile pretty much is gonna be the same out of everything else though so you still get a smart key i'm just shocked that honda didn't give it a blue back like they usually do with their hybrids but still have the smart key with smart entry so put your hand in there and unlock view i apologize this one's a little bit more dirty just came from transport off the truck interior should be exactly the same just like the gasoline model um, for 2020, you know that CRV kind of changed the interior a little bit. The Touring now comes standard with a wireless phone charger and the USB ports has been removed from inside here where it used to be. Now it's up here, so it's a little bit more accessible. Also the Touring comes standard with a heated steering wheel. So they gave the Touring a little bit more goodies than it didn't have before. Everything else should be standard on the CRV. The more premium sound system, you get the standard GPS system as well, um, power, a driver and passenger seats it is heated it's not cooled i know a lot of people wish that was on the crv but it's still just heated also for 2020 they changed the center console here where instead of you just having that big tray let me open this up you still have a tray but this tray can slide back and fold forward out the way as well too so it gives you a little bit more convenience as far as storage because before you would have to take the tray all the way out if you wanted that big hole there so still leather padded as well leather steering wheel they got rid of the shift knob. Now you have the shift push button shift by wire, which is pretty cool. And then now sport mode is a separate button. Econ is here and then you have an EV mode as well too, but everything else should be the same. Mercy brake, brake hold, push button start and everything as well. Now I want to start it up, turn it on. Now the gauges is a little bit different. On this side, you have your battery meter. Instead of having the temperature, you still have your gasoline on this side, but they did change. Actually, it's full digital. I did not even notice that. Is it? So this is actually full digital. And now you have a lot more different screens on your infotainment system here compared to the gasoline. So as long as you keep the CRV in that middle line, you can drive as fuel efficient as possible pretty much. So they help you be more eco-conscious. And if you move over to the next one, you have your little power meter. So this will show you if you're using power from the electric motor or from the engine, or if you're charging the battery as well. So it'll have different directions to let you know what's going on green or blue. So I just wanna give you guys a demonstration um, of how the power meter works. So right now I'm crawling, doing about 10 miles per hour, and you can see the lines are blue, so the electric uh, motor is powering all four wheels. Now we give it some gas. Oh, got, got some torque to it, wow. You saw me hit the brakes just now, that green actually was charging the battery. And you have these power shifters right here, which allow you to adjust the regenerative braking so if you're going downhill you can adjust how much braking you assistance you want if you wanted to brake more or brake less the more regenerative braking the more you charge the battery pretty much and then also you will see at the top where the rpms would be it will give you like a little power meter to show you how much power you're using from the battery and how much charging you're doing as well too so i'm slowing down see how it's green and it's charging right now which is pretty cool and if you go to the next screen you have your gas mileage, of course. It'll show your range. 620 miles on a full tank. That's actually pretty, that's actually really good. And then you can keep track of your previous drives. So your first drive, your last drive, your drive before that, and what your MPGs were. 
move over you have the navigation so you can see the compass or if you put a destination in it can have turn by turn directions here on the screen and then everything else should be just like the crv so you have the driver attention level if you fill this up the crv will let you know hey you should probably pull over now to wake the drive you can see if you're using power from all wheels or just the front wheels or how much power from the front or rear wheels and oil life and then music and foam and then switch from miles per hour to kilometers as well so it's just like the gasoline model just a little bit more information to be a little more fuel efficient the rpm gauge up top is a lot different as well so they've kind of redesigned the whole gauge here which is pretty cool infotainment system still going to be the same so i know a lot of people wanted to change this because honda well the crvs had this infotainment this generation debuted and it is time for an up so you still have the same infotainment system with apple carplay and android auto you do have backup camera as well too still and honda does have a multi-angle backup camera so you have wide view so you can see a little bit around the corner and if you right now it when you're crawling it plays a chime to warn people that you're moving so you can probably hear it so when you're crawling around you will hear that little chime so it can warn people that you're driving because these vehicles are very quiet and then you have a normal backup camera looking straight back. See how you can't see around those corners no more. And then you have a top-down view as well too. Pretty much showing you how close you are to a curb or to a pole or a fence or anything like that. And then you do have your cross traffic. So if you are backing out of a parking space, the CRV will warn you whether it's a car coming from the left side or from your right side. And that use the same um, system on your blind spot monitoring system. That you do have standard. So if you look right there, you see the little symbol of the car that will light up if someone is in your blind spot. And of course you still have your auto dimming rear view mirror and you do have home link so built-in garage openers little sunglass holder slash you know who threw that cheeto mirror and you do get a power moon roof sunroof moon roof whatever you want to call it it opens all the way is one touch and it tilts up as well so what's new for the hybrid and the ex you get memory seats in the buff i believe correct me if i'm wrong but i think so as far as the rear the rear door is still open 90 degrees so you can get people in and out or cargo in and out easily and you still have the same room because I believe they put the batteries under the rear seat. So you're not going to lose no cargo room compared to the gasoline model. See up front, all the changes up here and it's still roomy, a lot of head room, a lot of leg room. Just to give you guys an idea, you know, you have a lot of leg room and this seat is actually tilted back and you have a lot of head room as well too. That's one thing about the CRVs. It's been class leading in space, especially your passengers who, who's going to sit back here. So that's pretty cool. So the Tourings are going to come standard with 19 inch wheels. The EX and EXL is gonna have 18s and the LX is gonna have 17s. And it comes standard with the roof um, rail as well. So roof wall. So all, if you wanna add crossbars, all you have to do is add crossbars and you're done. With anything below this, you have to add this wall and the crossbars as well. So it's like a little value package you have there with the CRV. And to open the tailgate, you can either use the key, you can push the button that's under right here, or you have the kick feature where if you kick underneath the bumper, it'll open for you hands-free and the sensor is in the middle or is in towards the left and toward the right so there's different ways you can open the trunk and it is programmable as well too so a lot of the stuff is standard on the gasoline version now i believe you don't even get a spare yeah you don't get a spare you get a tire repair kit under here instead of getting a spare tire i don't know if that's to help it save weight or due to the battery being back here you know you don't really have space for a spare the all season cargo tray is a little bit different too you even got the blue crv which you know is a hybrid which is pretty cool and then actually this look different i don't know if this is a subwoofer or not but that's a little bit different but other than that you still can pull down the seats real easy just pull the handle and the seats do fall forward and you do get this privacy thing now what's new for 2020 it's standard in all trims it used to be ex and above and now the lx get this as well too and then like i said you can kick underneath the bumper push this button or push button the key or push the button and the steering wheel to close it up so pretty much back here to know that this is a hybrid you have the blue h and the hybrid tag right there and that's pretty much it and you don't have no exhaust finishers because it's a hybrid you don't even care about exhaust finishers i made a video on the 2020 crv so you guys check that out if you want to see what else is new for the 20 gasoline i'm trying i'm mostly gonna be focused on the hybrid though and we're so far than the hybrid only is you have parking sensors on the tourings so crvs never had parking sensors at all so you have front and back parking sensors on the touring hybrid crv to test out the parking sensors you can see it gives like a little picture on the side and it'll show you how close you are 
So you have the rear parking sensors in the front, which is pretty cool. On the release, the gas mileage, you guys can probably Google it and see it already, but it's 40 in the city, 35 in the, in the highway, 38 combined. So it's about 40 something percent more than, ga than the gasoline version. For the price of this Touring, um, it does have a protection package on it with splash guards. So that protection package is 361. So the total comes to 37. So a brand new gasoline Touring is about 36. So you can say the price difference between a gasoline and a hybrid is probably about like around $1,500 or something like that, somewhere around there. The gasoline model has a turbo 1.5 four cylinder engine. The hybrids are gonna have a 2.0 non-turbo four cylinder engine. So this has a 2.0 paired with the electric motor. So combined, it makes around 200, I think 12 horsepower. The gasoline makes 190 horsepower. The hybrid is faster than the gasoline motor as far as horsepower. Also, every hybrid is standard all-wheel drive. You can't get a two-wheel drive in a hybrid. And if you go with the gasoline model, then you get two-wheel drive. All of the hybrids are all-wheel drive. That's why the price difference between the trim levels are very different because there's not a two-wheel drive available. A lot more stuff with the CRV that comes standard with this package, but I kind of just wanted to focus on some of the differences with the hybrid model. I made a CRV uh, video showing what's new for 2020 already. Once I get more um, an EX and EXLs and LXs, I might do another video. So far, I only got this touring available. So just like a little quick review. Um, if you guys have any questions as far as features or stuff that comes standard, because for the hybrid CRVs, they did give some of the packages a little bit more features. So I think the EX gets a little bit more stuff. The EXL gets a little bit more stuff. The touring definitely got some more stuff as well. So um, just message me. Um, you can leave a comment below, message me. Um, write me on Instagram if you have any questions. I hope this video helped you guys kind of get an idea of the hybrid CRV. This is the first one, like I said, we have available. So actually, this is the second one. The first one, someone bought that already. So, you know, they're 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 flying out of here. That they're they're going to be a high demand vehicle. So definitely, you know, stop by and get yourself a hybrid CRV if you're in the market for a CRV that can get you in 30, 40 gas miles. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.